Hello everyone, this is Lucy. Um, I came in um, a few weeks ago to talk to your year four Ash class and I just wanted to say thank you because I just received the most beautiful letters that I've, I've never had anyone write me letters like this before and they're all absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to write a video saying thank you so much to all of you because I can't stop looking at them there. They've all got the most amazing drawings and some of them have got fantastic questions in and I just wanted to say how I've never felt so welcome at school and thank you all for having me. I thought it'd be a fun idea if I could answer some of your questions um, and maybe I can come back sometime but I wanted, to, I wanted to answer the questions that you've written to me in your letters. Okay, so Theo says, how was a volcano ever erupted on Mars? So this must be talking about Olympus Mons, that really big volcano that we talked about. So Ol Olympus Mons is, is a volcano much like Hawaii is on Earth. So it's called a shield volcano. And that means that you've got lots of, of hot molten rock under the crust. And this has just forced its way to the surface and just keeps erupting on the same spot. And all you need for this is, is a hot, um, interior of your planet and a way to move that heat to the top to the surface because things that are hot like the interior of a planet they just want to let that heat out and on Mars it's just the same as it is on Earth that heat just found a way out through a volcano and that's how the likes of Olympus Mons was formed so Freddie says can you see all of the planets and galaxies from Mars and yes you can this is this is a wonderful question actually you'll be able to see them a lot clearer on the surface of Mars because Mars has a much thinner atmosphere and when we look out at the night sky we have to see through all of that big air between us and space and because there's much less air on Mars, you'd be able to see them a lot clearer. So it'd be amazing to go stargazing on Mars. So we had a few questions about the day as well. So Theo says, how did you get a meteorite? All right, so I got my meteorite from eBay. And any of you can get one from eBay if you want as well. They're, they're very expensive. They're about, well, my, I paid 300 pounds for mine. So if you ask your mum and dad, that's quite a lot of money. But thankfully I had, um, I was given that money from uh, a group of scientists who, who like to talk about Mars and talk about the Earth and they want me to be able to go into schools like yours and talk about it. So they gave me money to buy that meteorite. Sophia says, where did you get your nice pictures from? Now this is a great question because any of you can access these pictures. It's not just me being a scientist having special access. I'm going to give you some websites now and all of you can go on these websites and you can type in glacier, you can type in volcano, you can type in polar cap and images will come up of those places on Mars. All of these are absolutely free for you to use and they're beautiful. I had a couple of questions asking about me myself. So uh, Henry said, how long have you been doing your job? So I'm doing what's called a PhD. That means that I've got a degree and I love what I study so much that I'm doing another another qualification at university that means I will become a doctor at the end of it. It's called a PhD and I'm halfway through my second year. So I started in 2016 and I should finish in 2020, 2020. That means that I get the fancy hat and I get to wear the robes and people can call me doctor then. But I've got another two years to go. Okay, Sophia has a great question. Sophia says, how long have you been studying? I think the answer to this question is actually since I was four because you're all studying right now. You're all in school, you're all learning. Um, thing is, when you're that age, you just do so many subjects because you don't know what you're interested in yet. You just want to learn as much as you can about as many things. And the older you get, the more specialized you get. So I've been studying Mars since I was 21. So when I was at university, I got the, I was told I could learn Mars if I wanted to. So I did. Um, and before that, I studied physical geography. So glaciers and rivers and climate change, all the surface processes that we talked about. Um, on Mars, but I did that for Earth as well. So Theo, Adam and Ida May say, what made you want to study Mars? Uh, thank you for this question, no one's ever really asked me that before. Um, what made me want to study Mars? So when I was very young, when I was about six, I watched a documentary on the BBC called The Planets. And if you have Netflix, it's actually on there right now. It came out in 1998, but it's still fantastic because I've watched it. And it was all about the planets and I remember just thinking this was amazing and I couldn't wait to, to learn more about it. And we didn't really learn about it much in school until I was 21 in my degree and um, we could learn about the planet itself. And I thought it was fantastic because you always think of the planets as these little dots in the sky, but when you really study them, you realize they're places just like Earth's, but 
but that anything can happen. They're, they're not just like us. The gravity is different. The sky is a different colour. There's, there's no people there or no vegetation or whatever planet you look at, there's something weird. Like on Pluto, there is a gigantic ice sheet that's shaped like a heart, but it's made of solid nitrogen. And nitrogen is what's in the air we breathe, but it's an ice sheet on Pluto. And that's amazing. And um, on Titan, which is one of Saturn's moons, um, you get these dunes that are stuck together with um, electric forces. So uh, electric dunes, I don't even know what that means. It's amazing. And that's why I love studying the planet so much, because it teaches you that what you know about Earth isn't true around the whole, the whole galaxy or the whole universe. That's why it's so interesting to me. Okay, now we have my favourite question. So Adam says, if you could go to Mars and go to your favourite place, would you go and would you be mind blown? Yes, yes, I would be mind blown. My favourite place on Mars is that giant canyon I showed you, the Valles Marineris. Yes, I would absolutely go. Yes, it would be mind blowing. Oh, I'd just stand on the edge and I'd just look for as far as the eye could see. I'd look down at how deep it was. You'd be able to see the, the sun rising over it. It would, it would just be beautiful. So yes, I would go. And yes, it would be mind blowing. So the last question that I came across was from Sophia. And you've asked the question I had to give the most thought to, which was, what would you like to be in 2025? Now that's seven years away and gosh, that's gonna swing around quickly. In 2025, I would mostly just like to be happy. That's the most important thing. I would like to have my PhD. It would be wonderful if I was still studying Mars. Um, I'd love to live near my family and I'd love to be doing something that I love. And I think as long as what I'm doing is making me happy, then that's absolutely fine. Um, I'll get back to you on what I'm doing in 2025. I don't know what any of you will be doing in 25 because you'll be, if you're eight or nine, you will be, um, you'll be in high school by then. So um, you'll have to let me know what you're, what you're all doing and I'll let you know what I'm doing. But um, that was the last of the questions. So thank you all so very much. And uh, let me read out the, the people who had, had letters but didn't have questions for me. So a big thank you to Alexander, Robert, William, Mustafa, Toby, Philip, Joshua, Florence, Russell, Ashlyn, Neve, Tasha, Juan, Felix, Libby, Mark, Jamie, Lara, and Mia. Oh, Mia, you said, imagine if humans lived in space. Humans do live in space, and it's amazing. They live on the, on the International Space Station. There's six people up there right now living in space, about 250 miles above us, and um, it is amazing. If you want to Google the International Space Station, you can see people living up there right now. I wish I was up there right now. I bet, um, I bet the view would be amazing. So thank you to all of the Year 4 Ash class. Thank you to Mrs. Brooks um, for having me. And um, I would love to come back anytime because you're all delightful. Thank you so much. Bye.